Earthquake Liquefaction by Marin Chen Have you ever heard of liquefaction? Liquefaction is a process that occurs after an earthquake. This is when water-saturated or thoroughly soaked sediment temporarily loses strength and acts as a fluid, unable to support buildings. Liquefaction usually occurs after earthquake shaking. The vibration from earthquakes causes water to seep in between sand and dirt particles, causing liquefaction. Having trouble picturing this? Think of when you go to the beach. When you stand in the wet sand by the water, your foot sinks into the sand. That is liquefaction, except this example is on a much smaller scale. The effect on structures and buildings can be devastating. Liquefaction is a major contributor to urban seismic risk. Fear of liquefaction may affect house sales, as buyers wouldn't want to have their house sink into the ground. Liquefaction has caused significant property damage in many earthquakes. The Marina District in San Francisco, a shallow bay filled in after the 1906 earthquake, suffered some of the worst damage in the 1989 earthquake. The 2011 Canterbury earthquake also caused serious damage. Other times include the 2004 Chutsu earthquake and the 1964 Nagata earthquake. In fact, liquefaction is now recognized as one of the main sources of earthquake-induced calamities. The United States Geological Survey, or USGS, creates liquefaction susceptibility maps to help the general public, as well as land use planners, utility and lifeline owners, and emergency response officials assess the risk of liquefaction. By undermining the foundations and base courses of infrastructure, Liquefaction can cause serious damage to buildings and cars. Luckily for us, solidification, also called consolidation, sets in immediately after liquefaction. Solidification is the process of a liquid becoming a solid. One way to protect yourself is to increase structural strength to resist any ground movements and consider foundation modifications. Also, stabilize the soil to prevent liquefaction by removing and replacing the soil as liquefaction usually occurs in places with loose soil. The pressure generated during large earthquakes with lots and lots of shaking can cause liquefied sand and excess water to force itself to the surface from several meters underground. These are called sand boils, sand blows, or sand volcanoes, as they look like they form small volcanic craters. I hope you learned a lot about liquefaction from this video. Thank you for listening. I would also like to thank these sites. Thanks to Earthquake Glossary, Liquefaction, by USGS. Soil Liquefaction, by Wikipedia. Behavior of Liquefied Sand, by D. Columbus. Liquefaction Hazard Maps, also by USGS. Thanks again for watching.